This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you an HEV driver looking for work? Head over to availlogistics.co.uk, fill out the looking for work form and get notified about jobs in your area. Don't miss out. Start your next journey with Avail today. Morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, hopefully you are okay. We've got a busy day today, man. Let's just walk to the truck and I shall guide you through what is actually happening today. So, straight off the bat, I think it's gonna be a long day today. Um, it is currently 20 past five in the morning and we've got a big day on. <laughs> Well, it's not, it's not a big day. It's actually quite easy, but it could go wrong quite quickly. It depends on how long it takes to get loaded. Right, there we are over there. That is us. It's quite foggy today, isn't it? We're going to um, turn the engine on, start doing some daily checks, and I will show you what we've got on and what else we are doing, because we have another trailer to load over there. Kieran must be in because his lights are on they normally turn off anyway we've got two jobs to do we've got this load first of timber which is going to be going to silverstone that's what we've got to do first thing this morning we need to be there for 7 a.m um once we've done this we're bringing this trailer straight back to the yard and then we're going to hit up to this trailer which i loaded yesterday uh on my flatbed and this one is loaded for um somewhere near croydon if we go over there, tell us on the on the sticker where it's going uh evergreen in wallington that was it so that's going near croydon once we deliver that one to croydon i believe i've not been confirmed this but i believe we are then heading to h and h to be loaded to come back to the yard to deliver monday so in theory in theory it's pretty easy deliver that come back hitch up to this deliver this and then go get, get loaded for monday in theory easy day um, these two trailers are going to come off nice and easy it's the reload we could be waiting to be reloaded for a few hours uh, hopefully not the case hopefully we can get there I don't know say around 12-ish and then leave around 1-ish and back in the yard for 4-ish that is plausible but also it could be a lot later anyway I'm going to go around now and do some daily checks to make sure everything's okay we need to wash the truck at some point because the wheels are flat Really need to, I really do need to get them washed. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do some daily checks. I will see you inside the cab. It's 48. I was just about to talk. Okay, thank you very much. Um, right, so we're in the cab now, as you can see. Let's turn uh, these white lights off. Uh, and we're pretty much good to go. Checks are done. Uh, paperwork filled out. We are ready to go. ETA on the sat nav is 6.48. We need to be there by 7. So uh, we're on time as well for a change. So um, I'm going to go. Next time you see me... It's probably going to be dark, so I think um, you'll probably see me when we're arriving at Silverstone, and then I'll do some GoPro footage when I leave. Um, there will be GoPro footage, as you can see, cameras are set up, ready to go. So, I will see you in a little while, and uh, hopefully it should be a little bit lighter, but may not be. I don't think it will be, actually. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are here. Sorry, I've just uh, rubbed my face. <laughs> uh, we're here, and uh, we need to go book in now in the office. I don't think I don't think there's actually anyone in there, so I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know, I might just drive in. No, I, better, I better go see someone. See if I can speak to someone first. Need a, need a hard hat on. Right, matey boy's already signed our paperwork, which is good. Here's the truck. He just told us to go on down, park into bay one, and then uh, unstrap. So that's what we're going to do now. Right, we are in position. Going to uh, undo all the straps now. What time is it? It's actually twenty past seven. So we, oh yeah, we stopped for fuel because our ETA, our original ETA, was um, ten to seven, wasn't it? We had to stop for fuel, and uh, we got held up there because um, there were well, there were other trucks wanting to get fuel as well. So we got held up there, and. Um, yeah so we're here we got here we've been here five minutes at least so we've got here about quarter past seven in the end so never mind 
I don't think they actually start tipping you to eight o'clock anyway. I'm pretty sure I remember that being the case. Right, I swear it's getting lighter and lighter every time I press record. Um, we are now strap free and potentially it is now coming off. There's a forklift around there, but I can't see anything going off yet. So, yeah, he is. The cab just rocked. <laughs> so we're now going to jump in the truck. I'm going to wait until he takes it off so it's not rocking as I climb up. Jump back in the truck and um, now we've got to go straight back to the yard. It shouldn't take too long to get there because we'll be empty and uh, therefore we should be able to fly back safely of course do a trailer swap get the other trailer and then um head to where we got to go which i can't remember where it was now was it wardington or something can't remember so i've already pre-programmed it all into this sat now so we should be good to go also when we leave here gopros will be on so uh yeah Right, that's where we want to go, but we need to go back to the yard first. So add a stop, and that should then give us a rough ETA of when we're going to get there. A lovely jubbly. So, ooh, actually. You arrive at your destination at 11.10. I was hoping we are going to be in H&H &H by 12. Um, okay, we are, yeah, we need to get a move on, because we're probably not going to be in H&H &H till like one or two now. But never mind, we're going to get that done as quickly as we possibly can. So there'll be uh, dash cam footage when we leave here. Just wait for this to come off now and then we shall crack on. So uh, I'll see you in a bit when we are tipped. Right, we are getting there. We are now on to the old GoPro. I think we've got one more on the other side as well. thumbs up we've got one more on the other side i do believe i think i'm not sure see if he comes back <laughs> all right he's not come back but he also didn't give me a thumbs up which is very annoying i don't know why forklift drivers don't do that yeah we are we are empty it would be nice if forklift drivers just gave you a thumbs up or a honk, a little bit of courtesy. <laughs> Obviously, no, not here. So thanks for that. <laughs> Luckily, I only waited for five minutes. Uh, not even five minutes. All right, suspension level. Oh God, dropping stuff. Right, let's go. So, like I put into the sat nav, yeah, time's getting on. I was hoping, or wishing, that I would be at H&H &H or 12. Now, bear in mind, I haven't actually been told I'm going to H&H. &H. It is very much an assumption, but I'm pretty sure I will be. I think it's pretty safe to assume I will be going there. Um, but yeah, we are looking like it's going to be at least 12-ish. Formula One Aston Martin team need to park their cars in different locations. <laughs> um, yeah, the Aston Martin Formula One team have got a warehouse here. What exactly they store it now, I do not know, but they are here. Um, so yeah, we... I'm going to need a break, actually, thinking about it. I'm going to need a break as well on the way. So we ain't gonna get to our first drop until 12-ish. Maybe, maybe half 12. And um, one, two. Yeah, I think we're probably looking at H&H &H for two o'clock. And it's a big old drive back and obviously we've got a week to be loaded as well. So we, we aren't gonna be back tonight until six or seven. Um, and obviously we've got to be careful because we did we did start at half past five. No, it was even before that. It's 20 past five. So we're going to work to 20 past eight. So working time may be an issue later. That is something we need to think about. All right, I'm going to turn right out of here. Bit of a blind turn, but we should be all right. Nice. Right, let's go 
You can turn left, go on the draw carriageway, go up the draw carriageway, turn round and come back. I've already committed. You want to be slowing down a little bit around those bends, mate. Um, we we could go left, go up the draw carriageway, spin around and come back, but it'd be nicer to go this way. It's more to see. So yeah, it's a very, very foggy day today, as you can see. <laughs> I don't know what it looked like on camera, but if I took my put my full beam on, oh, okay, now you can't really see any difference. <laughs> I'm just going to see whether it would uh, make it any brighter. Are you supposed to be part like this down here? I don't think you're supposed to part like that there. Never mind. There we go. Like, if you lived in one of these houses, you could literally walk to Formula One. Literally. <laughs> Be nice, wouldn't it? Right, let's go left here. Okay, and then rather than going straight on to go to Silverstone, we need to turn right at this teardrop roundabout. Turn right. Turn left. And there's a car on my left, but he's backed off. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm going to crack on now and go and get the second trailer. Then we need to just crack on and get that job done as quickly as possible. Like I said, we will need to have a break as well because, wow, well, we're on over an hour and a half already and it's an hour and a half there. So we're going to be on three hours when we get to the yard and then there's a good couple of hours to the delivery point. So we will need to stop for half an hour break on the way. We managed to get a 15 minute break in here whilst waiting to be loaded, uh, unloaded. So um, yeah, we will need to get a break in later. But we'll see what we can do. I'll see you in a bit. Right, you join me in the yard. We're just doing a trailer swap. Got the blue one next to me, which just dropped off. I'm now winding the legs up on the uh, on the red one. Swap the number plates over. Make sure the lights are working. And then we'll be good to go. <laughs> Right, legs are done. I had to put them on the uh, the low gear to begin with because uh, it wouldn't go up. Some of these need tightening up. I think I just need to go around and just double check all these are tight because this one was quite loose. I just spotted it. So I'm gonna quickly check all the others as well while I'm here. So. Literally just walk through this gap, go a few clicks on these up until they're tight. What it is is because it squeezes the bags on the top and then during transit it gets squashed. So, even though I did all these up myself yesterday, that was a nice one. Of, uh, you can see that one there wobbling there. Look, when I do that, that one there's wobbling. This one looks very loose. There we go. Okay, it's just part of your checks. Make sure it's all safe. I'm going to have to undo this one. Do it right. then uh, do this back up again. Right, so trailer is on and secure. Load is secure. Lovely jubbly. Just got to take the number plate off this trailer. Put it on this trailer. Like so. And then we're good to go. Good to go. Jump in the truck and then we can crack on. Right, so now that's all done. Jump in, reset suspension, seatbelt on, and let's go. 
yeah, time's getting on, man. We've only got an hour um, and 20 minutes of drive time. We're two hours away. So we are going to need to stop for a break. Current ETA is 10 to 12, which means uh, we could even get the break in. We're looking at 20 past 12. Looking at between two and three o'clock arriving at HH, which is fine, but it is quite late for Friday. Um, I genuinely might not even leave there until five o'clock tonight, and then I've got to make my way back and try and get back <laughs> without running out of work in all driving time. But uh, we should hopefully be okay, but if not, then hopefully someone's available to come and uh, pick us up. But hopefully, that won't be the case. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll, uh, I'll see you when we get to our next delivery. And uh, probably film going in there actually. So I'll see you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we do have a bit of driving to do, but I thought I would uh, start filming myself on the way in. Time is indeed getting on. Uh, we did stop for half an hour break earlier. And, uh, well, our ETA is now 10 to 1. We've got caught in some traffic as well. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully that we aren't here too long. Uh, I could be in and out in half an hour. It has happened before. I've been, this place we're delivering to, I have been to before. And, yeah, I am going to be hoping for a very quick turnaround. And then, uh, crack on to H&H &H if we are going there. I am still yet to be uh, <laughs> told that that is where I'm going. It's purely just a guess but uh, it would make sense that I am. So we are going to Evergreen, which is this company here, but that's trade only. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird. We're going to a different site. Well, where we normally deliver to anyway. So we're, we're going to the other one and see whether that is the one they want it at. We're slowing down for this roundabout. We're gonna go straight over both of these. All clear, we can go. Try and keep our momentum going up this hill. Nice. Now, there is a turning up here on the left. It's very narrow, and it is the quickest way to get there. But it's very narrow, as in you struggle to get a lorry in a car pass. So I need to, I need to make a quick judgment call as to whether or not I'm gonna take it or not. I can see vans coming up. There's, yeah, there's a queue of cars, like, even two cars are struggling to get past. So, I am not going to go that way. Yeah, we're just going to go around this way, going to go around a slightly longer way. But uh, avoid that traffic, basically. Because, yeah, even two cars struggle to get past, let alone a lorry as well. I need the entire road. Just, it's only like 100 yards. That's enough to, you know, cause everyone to stop, basically, and then potentially cause gridlock, so... We just go round. We will go round. Ooh, we could have trouble here because we've got to turn left at the roundabout, but I know it's a very tight turn. And it also looks to be a lot of traffic. So we may struggle to make the turn. We'll have to see. There's some very nice houses down here. Big houses. Right, we want to turn left. Oh yeah, it's very tight. I forgot how tight it was. You've got bollards here as well. And a bell. Has that bell been added? I want to take this nice and wide. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. 
not too bad. Got around there, no problem at all. Lovely double eight. Drive down this housing. It's not really in this state. Just houses either side. Although, fun fact, uh, during COVID, I made a delivery to this place and I felt so incredibly ill that I actually had to park my lorry up somewhere down here and I went to bed. <laughs> I went to bed for an hour or two because I was just exhausted. Um, yeah, never had to do that before. Basically, phone the boss up, like, I'm sorry boss, but like, I am, I can't, I'm dangerous to drive. I've got to sleep. <laughs> so that's what I did. I wasn't risking it. We need to be on the other side of the road to, uh, to make the turn. Let this car go. And if we went down that narrow bit, we literally would have just come out there. Ooh. I don't see a gorilla. Maybe I'm imagining things. Anyway, we should be offloaded somewhere around here. Uh, I'm probably going to spin around, I think. So I'm facing the right way because I don't like not facing the right way. Looks like they're selling trees here. Okay, if I just go back this way, then uh, they've got plenty of space to offload me either side, and I can just drive straight back out when uh, when we're done. Right. Let's go and get these straps off and go and find someone and see uh, if they can get us tipped sharpish. <laughs> right, we are in the yard being offloaded, one of the quickest tips ever. It turns out it doesn't really matter because I just <laughs> just phoned the boss and uh, it's back to the yard. It's not even going to H&H. &H, so this is surprising because I really thought I was going to H&H. &H. Like I said, no, at no point did anyone ever say I was going to H&H. &H. It's just, uh, well, I assumed I was. And obviously I've assumed wrong. So, uh, oh, just twist my ankle a little bit. Huh? So yeah, we're, uh, we're getting this tipped off now. Go back to the yard. I might have to go get a trailer loaded, potentially, I'm not sure. But um, we definitely need to give it a wash. Look at it. Yeah. That is the aim for today, go and give the truck a wash. No? Right, let's jump back in at the truck. He's only got four more lifts to come off. I ain't been here long at all, so. Uh, Lovely. Um, so, yeah, actually, <laughs> um, it may come back to bite us, actually. We might need to stop for a break on the way back. I was so sure that I'd be loading H&H &H that I thought that whilst I was in there, I'd be waiting so long I'd get a break in and therefore be able to get back to the yard in one hit. We are on two hours and eight minutes of driving, which means we've got two hours... 22 remaining and we're two hours 19 away from the yard we're gonna get caught in some traffic so um yeah most likely we need to stop on the way back for a break <laughs> oh well never mind right we've got a car are you coming in or are you going out i think it's coming in waiting for the forklift to move i think looks like a nice audi Right, right, so the sat nav is saying go left. We're not going to go left because um, of that tight road. I can see him queuing up to get out already. And like I said, if I go, I'm just going to cause a nightmare. So straight away, we've already added time onto the UK back to the yard because, uh, yeah, we're going a longer way than what the sat nav was trying to tell me to go look. So, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to have to stop for a break on the way back. Ah, uh, never mind. Um, so that does mean we're going to be back in the yard bar well, just after four o'clock. Um, so yes, he did say something about getting the trailer loaded the other day, me or Kieran, but um, 
I don't know where, because like I said, I'm not, I, I'm not going back until after four o'clock, so. We'll have to see on that one, but never mind. I was hoping to get more footage on the GoPro as well. That's why I've been doing it, so that in the anticipation I'll be going to H&H. &H, so I was going to film on the way there as well. Never mind, what can we do? But yeah, no, I stopped somewhere here during the pandemic because um, I needed to stop and and basically rest, fall asleep. That car's coming out. Are you... I'm going to keep going. Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just needed to stop. I was so tired that, you know, I had to stop. So I did. Don't drive tired. Okay, we're going to take a right... Speed bump. Ugh. Lots of vehicles. The here comes. No. Oh, I could have gone. I'm going. I'm going. Thank you. Really? Oh, thank you very much. And then it was just this little bit of traffic over here. But yeah, they're rapid there. I was only in there 15 minutes. 15 minutes I was in there for. <laughs> Just 15 minutes. I've fully unstrapped and got everything taken off in 15 minutes. Every time I've gone there, they've been quick. Every time. Yeah. And also, they I've noticed this. I'm going to have to speak to Melissa because a lot of places I go to, they say, oh, Melissa works for you. So, uh, she's a very popular driver, is Melissa. Because they said it as well. Normally, Melissa comes. So, oh, no, sorry, you've got me today. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going to crack on then back towards the yard. Probably stop for a break somewhere. Might see you wherever I stop for a break. I, I don't think I'm going to get all the way back. Probably stop at Reading or Membury. Somewhere. Somewhere down there. So I'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right, we are not going back to the yard. We have been tasked with getting uh, loaded, ready for Monday morning. I was a bit surprised when he said straight back to the yard, but that's... Uh, it's come to light why now we are getting loaded can you guess where we are <laughs> we're in swindon we're in uh, a place called blade grove industrial estate and uh, we've been tasked to get loaded with pallets to go to stonehouse on monday morning if you haven't guessed already then you should guess very soon we are going of course to chep they've been pretty good recently to be fair i've not been waiting too long to get in or out they have been good Will today, at half past three on a Friday, be any different? Well, I can already see there's at least one truck queuing to get in. So I can already see one truck. There's no one queuing here, so that's good. We're looking at two hours, I would say, at the moment. <laughs> Let's get around the corner. We're looking at, yeah, we're looking at an hour tops. And let's get around this corner. Right, we're second in the queue. So we should be here less than an hour, more than more than 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, something like that. We'll see. The current time is actually 20 past three. I would be surprised if we're still here after... Mm, I reckon we'd be going just after four, I think. But um, let's, say, let's say 20 past four, so let's say an hour. We should, fingers crossed, with a bit of luck, be in and out. Hopefully within an hour, 20 past four. Uh, we'll have to see. Why is this not going back? There you go. We'll have to see on that one. So I'm going to jump out the truck now and log in to the app, check in, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Right, time is, well, it's actually quarter past four now. So it is nearly an hour later, like I predicted. We're just strapping up now. We've only got two more left to go. Go. one more left to do and then uh, go grab our paperwork and then what I'm probably going to do is I'll drive out onto this industrial estate and just park up for 15 minutes I'm in no rush to get back to the yard whether I go straight to the yard or do it here doesn't matter but I've got paperwork to do so I'm in my weekly paperwork here now so I haven't got to do it in the yard later so when I do go to the yard I can drop the trailer through it for the wash because it needs a wash so let's go grab our paperwork and then uh, crack on. They do sometimes want you to wear a hard hat here. I always argue when I throw the straps open, it literally falls off my head because they're so high. So. 
Never mind, as you can see, that was just there. Let's get our paperwork. Right, we're back in the truck. Paperwork is here. And uh, we're gonna go outside now and uh, just have a little bit of a sprucey clean in the truck before I head back to the yard. And then, uh, yeah, do some stuff in the yard. Get a bit. Right, as you can see, it's getting dark. Uh, it is uh, 24 minutes past six. And um, well, we're, we're washing all the trucks basically. My truck is there, it's the last one to go. Once uh, Josh has finished washing his truck, mine's gonna be going on. And then I'm hitching up to the blue flatbed trailer, which we had on earlier. Check pallets, which is there, is being taken by Melissa. So um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's gonna get very dark very quickly, very soon. So I thought I'll end it now while you can still see me. And yeah, man, what can I say? Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. I've been Luke C in HTV. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.